Nestled in the heart of London lies St. Bennet's Metropolitan Welsh Church, an island of Wales just a stone's throw from St. Paul's Cathedral. What separates St. Bennet's, though, is the sermons conducted almost entirely in Welsh. I was lucky enough to be able to attend a service here, and Minister Nairn Glynn was kind enough to talk to me. My name's Nairn Glynn, I'm the, we're in St. Bennet's, and I'm the minister here, so the vicar if you like, or the minister. And so we are the Welsh Anglican Congregation in London and have been for a long time, since 1879. We are different, we're quite unique obviously because we have our services in Welsh and a Welsh congregation. But that's actually a good thing because the news about Jesus is for everybody and there are thousands of Welsh people in London. And some of those Welsh people, or quite a lot of them, live almost as expats. They live in the Welsh community. They have Welsh activities as a Welsh primary school, they go to Welsh choirs and so it makes sense that if we want to share the good news about Jesus we would do it in a language that is close to their hearts and so we do it in Welsh. So half the people are fluent in Welsh, can speak Welsh, no problem. Then we have a whole range as well, so people who can speak a little bit, maybe they learned it growing up but have been in London for years or it's just drifted away or they're learners. We have quite a few learners who come and obviously this is a place where the language is live in London and so they want to come to hear it. See that for some reason lots of people in London want to learn Welsh. Our service is in Welsh so we use a fairly liturgical service with songs and readings and those are all in, in, in Welsh but with English translations given. St Bennet's also has a great deal of history being such an old establishment. I mean Shakespeare used to live very nearby and in Twelfth Night St Bennet's gets a mention so that's quite fun. And because for yeah, um, others, Indigo Jones was buried in the original St. Bennet's. So there are a number of links to the church where people over the decades and centuries have. We have a large crest of King Charles II just in the main church um, building, which no doubt you'll be able to see. And the story is told that this was his church of choice, that um, by that crest there is what looks like almost a royal box. and. It's said that after the service began, he would come in through the entrance and go into the royal box, and then during the last hymn would leave. Christopher Wren, with others, would have built it. It's quite a unique shape, so he did a range of styles, and clearly he was preoccupied with what was going on next door, maybe at St Paul's, and so this is a very simple and clean, but as a result, a very attractive design. As a particular Welsh church, we've got to be creative in finding our ways into the Welsh community, and to make sure that what we do is publicised. So we don't publicise in the way a normal church might do to its local residents, because most, well, there aren't many residents around here, and most of them aren't Welsh. So we have to just be a little bit cleverer in making sure we know that the Welsh community knows what's going on. Can come in. Leads to a very intimate church service. So everyone feels quite close, and we're all very close together. So there are no aisles or wings down the side. We're all together in the middle of the church, learning about the Lord Jesus.